Hey, um, I hope everything's good. I So I, I recently have been looking at um, the Brene Brown stuff, right? So whether that's what she's been writing or what she's been talking about or, and, and if you don't know her, shut this off, go read her, come back. Um, but anyway, you know, one of the concepts that she talks about is that whole feeling um, of feeling like we're not enough, right? That, that somehow there's some scarcity and we're not enough. And the interesting part of that for me is that, you know, in my life, I, I, I've, I've struggled almost with the opposite, right? I mean, it's the same thing at the end of the day, but, but this feeling that I'm too much, that I'm, I'm too loud, I'm too, I take up too much space, I talk too much, I am too fat, I'm, right, there's a host of things I just, there's, there's just been this thing in my life where I felt like I'm too much and that I need to kind of make myself smaller and because why, right? And so Brene Brown would say, because we are terrified of being disconnected, right? We're terrified that, that who I am or what I bring is somehow going to make other people not want to love me or not want to be with me. So it's it's a flip of the same coin, right? So that so that some for some folks I'm sure that people feel, I mean, and I occasionally do, so I'm not pretty enough, right? Or or I'm not tall enough or or there are things that I'm inadequate. I'm not I'm not enough of something. And the reverse of that for me most often is that I'm too much of something. And so then it just got me thinking about that whole idea and how <clears throat> I mean, at the end of the day, how can there be too much Sharon, right? I mean, I am Sharon. Like, that's who I am. I can't be too much of me or not enough of me. I I have no choice but to be me. And and so it just, it got me thinking about all of us and how, you know, we have parents, right? Biologically, we have parents. And one egg and one sperm came together and made you. Um, and one unique sperm and one unique egg came together and made you and and there can be no other you right i mean there there's no other possibility that could have come from the kind of joining of those two cells back however long ago that was for you and then your life was what it was right you were raised in whatever environment you were raised in you went to school or you went to work or you whatever it was that you did every single step along the way gave you some life experience it gave you it gave me friendships, things, broken hearts, experiences that were successes, experiences that were failures. And, and all of those are just what they are, right? They're just experiences. And, and as those things were put together, it, here's me. So here's me on January, whatever today is, the 12th, 2020. I, I, I can't be anything other than what I am right this minute, right? There's no other way to be this way. Um, and if you're a psychologist, right, Linehan, Linehan DBT, right? The root of that. I can be no other way. I am perfectly me right now. Um, and so that has me thinking about us and this whole not enough too much thing, right? You know, I, I look outside, right? So I just went out and, and there's, you know, a tree and a wire has grown and the tree is sort of formed around the wire. You don't look at that and go that that tree, there's not enough tree or there's too much tree. Like that's just how that tree developed because a wire came and got in its way and it had to build around the wire. Or a rose, you know, I look at a rose bush and there is a white rose and I don't think that rose isn't red enough, right? It's a white rose, like it, it can't be red, it's white. And so again, I think that just comes back to the idea that there can't possibly be too much of me or not enough of me. There can't possibly be too much of you or not enough of you. You are you, wholly and fully. And any time that we choose to be less than we are, or try to be more than we are, or try to be different than we are, pretend or hide or show too much or defend too much or whatever it is, that's not us. And that's the inauthentic part of living. And that's the fitting in rather than being. And why, right? I mean, why? So I guess in sum, <laughs> um, my thought for today is simply, you are exactly enough. I am exactly enough. There can't be not enough of you. There can't be too much of you. There's exactly, exactly, perfectly, amazingly, spot on the right amount of you. So be you, all of you, every last inch of you. Be it, live it, breathe into it. Um, no matter what form, shape that takes. So you're amazing. I wish nothing for you but love and happiness today. Um, and take care of yourself. Be safe out there. And whenever you get those negative thoughts today, some voice telling you that wasn't enough, I'm not enough, I'm too much, just hear me telling you 
There's no such thing as too much or too little. You're perfectly the right amount of you.